Reading I Ching Sample Reading So far, I have explained the general process of divination with I Ching. This time, let's look at a simple example of I Ching divination. First of all, let's assume that we decided to use the method of yarrow branches for picking out the lines, and repeatedly pulled out the six lines. At each stage, 28, 28, 32, 24, 32, 28 branches remained, which correspond to the lines of small yang, small yang, small yin, big yin, small yin, and small yang. Therefore, if you start from below, and stack up the lines as indicated before, you will get the first hexagram of number 41, decrease. If you change the yin and yang of the big lines, you will end up with the second hexagram of number 38, opposition. In this way, you end up with a pair of hexagrams, and your status is determined to be one of 4096 cases. Since only one of the lines has changed here, we can see that we have not yet advanced far from the first hexagram's influence. According to the explanation given in the chapter reading hexagram, when one line has changed, we are supposed to read the description of the changing line within the first hexagram. Therefore, we need to look up the description of the fourth line of number 41, decrease. The meaning of each hexagram or line is going to be explained later in this series. If you look up the meaning of the fourth line of decrease, you will find the following description. Standing on a new starting point, is always a scary and anxious experience. However, I think that we can be less concerned about the worries, if there is someone who helps us, such as the power of Yang from the first line. You cannot do everything by yourself. Sometimes you need to be willing to accept the help other people kindly offer to you. Of course, not all helps are up for grabs, you may sometimes have to move quickly, so that you do not miss such an opportunity. In fact, I personally think that it would give you more insightful interpretation, if you read the overall meaning of the first and second hexagrams, along with the meaning of the selected line. The hexagram of decrease, which is located at the start of change, represents the state in which each individual gives up his or her thoughts and opinions to others, in order to maintain overall balance and progress. You may interpret this hexagram that people are trying to pursue a greater improvement, by complementing each other's weakness first, although such deeds may not give you any instantaneous benefit. To be a little bit on the negative side, you may say that it represents that individual member's interest is getting ignored, in order to achieve the purpose of the overall society. The hexagram of opposition in the second position, quite differs from the meaning of the first. In this hexagram, each member independently develops his or her own ideas and approaches, while still trying to achieve common interest as a result. Perhaps it may represent a structure, which allows independent thinkers to make use of their own strength and characteristics as much as possible, or conversely, it may represent a possible dispute arising, in the process of tying people with different characteristics together. We said that the pair of hexagrams we picked, represent the change from the first state into the second one. However, since only one line has changed, we may assume that we are still far away from the state of the second hexagram, but are only starting to take a step forward from the first one. And the meaning of the fourth line quoted above may be the advice given to us, at the moment when we are about to take the first step forward. Do not miss your chances by worrying too much about the fears or anxieties of the new beginning. Be willing to accept the help offered to you, and try to move quickly to grasp the opportunity. One may say that 4096 possibilities may not be a large enough number, to describe every aspect of people's lives. You may also think that a single arbitrary phrase of advice, is not going to help you in your current situation. But how about trying to move away from your current perspective over the problem, and to interpret the issue in a new point of view? by trying to connect it to the randomly selected message.